Hey, welcome to 85 and 86. We're combining these two because it's really kind of ideas about shapes. And they're both kind of easy. So, 85 starts talking about polygons and 86 is on triangles. So, we're going to start with a polygon. A polygon is a closed plane figure. Plane means it's flat, it's on one plane, it's not three dimensional. Closed means it's not open like this shape would be open has to be closed um, it's made with three or more straight lines if you don't have a straight line if you have any curve at all it is not considered a polygon the lines meet but they don't cross this is important so for example this shape is a polygon it's got lines straight lines and they don't cross and they are all closed. There's no like secret way in. Each place that the lines meet is called a vertex, just like angles. And this is called ooh, a, a side. A regular polygon is where all the sides are congruent and all the angles are congruent, just like these two shapes here. All the sides and all the angles have to be the same in order for you to be considered regular, which means the majority of the shapes out there are irregular. So, we name our shapes by a number of ways, but the first name we always come up with is the name that connects us to how many sides it has and how many angles. They're the same thing. So, we're, we're familiar with the triangle. Tri means three. And then we have a quadrilateral. So you don't start with squares and rectangles because those are very specific. If it has four sides, it's a quadrilateral. Four and lateral is side. Pentagon, penta means five. Hexagon has an X like the six. Heptagon means seven. Octagon means eight. Nonagon, N-O-N is Greek, I think it's Greek for nine. And then decagon, like decade, is 10. Now, if you haven't noticed, the majority of these are gons. Gon means side, and poly for polygon, poly means many. So this is six side, seven side, eight side, on and on. So the name actually tells you, if you speak Greek, what, uh, how many sides it has. So, now it's your job. Name each polygon, if it's a polygon, and tell if it's regular or not. So pause and go through these six, and it's either not a polygon or you have to give it a name. Okay, y'all set? So this, one, two, three, four, five, this is going to be a pentagon. Is it regular? No. No, because the angles are different, the sides are different. Number two, this is not a polygon because it's not closed. Number three is not a polygon because it's got curved sides. Number four is a polygon because it's closed and it's got straight sides, if you don't count the fact that I can't draw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It's a Twelve gone. Uh, what's that? Well, that was cheating. It's actually a doe decagon. This is two, and this is ten, and that's twelve. And that was cheating. You don't have to get that one right. Sorry, I didn't actually count. <laughs> I just drew something. This is a quadrilateral because it's got four sides, and yes, it is regular, and you get bonus points for noticing that a regular quadrilateral is a square. And then this one is not a quadril uh, polygon because it has sides that cross. Ta-da, polygons in general. Now we're gonna start looking at specific polygons. We're gonna start with triangles. The whole next section is just on triangles. There's two different ways to classify them. You could classify them by their sides 
or by their angles. So by their sides, we've got three lovely words to learn. Scalene, isosceles, and equilateral. If you are a scalene triangle, then your, all three sides are different as far as their measure goes. If you are an isosceles triangle, then the two, two sides are identical, which also means two angles are identical, but you don't know that yet. And then equilateral, equal, lateral, equal sides. All three sides are the same. Then we have classifying triangles by their angles. You could have an acute triangle, which means it's got an, all of them are acute angles, all three of them. An obtuse triangle, which means one angle is obtuse. You can't have more than one angle be obtuse and still be a triangle. And then you have a right triangle, which means one angle is a right angle. And we always put a little square, our little 90 degree square in the, in the corner just so that we know for sure, okay? So now you get to try it. Check out all these different triangles in here. You're going to tell me how many of these triangles have our scalene triangles, isosceles, and equilateral triangles, and then how many of these triangles are acute, obtuse, or right. So pause it here, work out your angles, and then come right back. Okay? So, let's pick a different color. Scalene. Let's see, I think it would be easier to do the other ones. The red ones, got a line here, a line here, a line here, even though it doesn't look like it, sorry. I'm not a good scale drawing person, but um, these lines tell you that they're equal. So the red ones are equilateral triangles. So you've got four red ones. You didn't have to put red, but you had to count four. Isosceles means that two are the same. So the green ones have two of the same lines and then this third line is different. The purple ones have two of the same line and this third one is different. So you've got four greens and two purples to make six isosceles. And then scalene would be the orange ones, and there's four of those. Then we get a look at angles. Then we got to look at angles. I'll come back. I'm being interrupted. So how many of these are acute triangles, which means they've all, they, they don't have any right angles and they don't have any obtuse angles. All the angles are smaller than 90. So the red ones are all acute. And that's it. So we've got four acute ones. Obtuse, the green ones are obtuse. So you've got four of those. And then the right triangles are orange ones, have right angles, and our purple ones have right angles. So we've got a total of six right triangles. Are you good with that? Fantastic. And I don't have any extra for you to do. So I'm hoping that all of that, because it's all vocabulary, you're just gonna jump right into all of the really just naming and classifying. So um, good luck and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.